James Johnson announcing the re-signing of Graham Arnold, a Socceroos coach, until the 2026 FIFA World Cup after a pretty good performance in the last one. Pretty much a day, uh, just about the pros and cons of staying on, and, and basically it was just all around: do we think we've received, you know, we've got the max out of this group of players? And we both walked away saying, no, there's so much more to come, so let's do it again. And uh, and that was pretty much it. It was uh, just, as I said to you before, it's just my passion for, for Australian football and, you know, my, my personal life being around mates and friends and uh, family and but also trying to help Australian kids and there's nothing better than, than seeing that and doing that. So can we win the next World Cup? You want us to? We'll do our best, 100%. That's, uh, but again, we... Uh, it's not just getting the football right. The government needs to help. You know, it's crazy that uh, we are a world sport and seeing all, all what happened <coughs> with those fan sites and seeing how passionate everyone is about the sport. And one thing, since I have been home everywhere I go, everyone has a story about where they were, the game against Tunisia. They tell me stories about getting up at 4 a.m. in the morning to watch. And the rest of the world don't understand that they saw those fan sites, but they don't realise the timing of it. That uh, the passion of of the for the game in Australia. And I was watching the tennis last night and watching the final. And and when you hear the commentators saying, "Well, it's like one nil in a football game," watching the fans' reaction, and uh, that's what we can bring to Australia. But we need that. Leave that there, as expected. Graham Arnold continues in the gig that he performed quite well in that uh, World Cup that just ended a couple of months ago.